Howdy folks, welcome back. Today we're just out on the range here after work getting in some trigger time with the Bonelli Nova 12 gauge super long turkey gun. Never gone turkey hunting, but uh, we got the super tight choke in here, but we're just blasting around with some one and one eighth ounce lead bird shot loads, some target, some plinking stuff. And uh, you actually just saw us reload these back a little while ago on the Mac 600 Junior. Anyways, we're just going to hit these steel targets. I got some clay pigeons laying around and I'm going to see what kind of pattern it's got back there on the paper as well. So let's get into it. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> um, I might need some heavier duty stakes. Uh, let's try the ones that are on real stands though. <laughs> that was funny. Double reactive target. This one might be a failure. That guy is ugly. By the way, these were from the reject pile when I was dialing in the press, so I've just got a loose bag of a random amount here, so that's how long we'll be out here. Nothing like blasting the old frying pan, eh? So let's go ahead, we'll put one on the paper. I will aim at the large dot in the center. I think it's a two inch circle. But uh, let's see how we're gonna pattern at probably 20 yards I'm guessing I'm at right now. Wow, that looks devastating. And real quickly before we get too far, look at this pattern, that is pretty stinking tight one and an eighth ounce at about 20 yards I guess and I say it's stinking tight but I really don't know what to compare it to but looks like pretty much every one of those little pellets are on those pieces of paper and it's exactly where I was aiming so that's pretty cool okay here's one of the federal wads the 12 s3 for the one and one eighth ounce load the pedals look like they got ripped off by the choke the piston looks like it got squished pretty good and the base also looks like it is pretty freaking torn up so like i said i don't know what i'm looking for in the wads here so you guys tell me if this is just totally ridiculous and mangled or whatnot although we saw the pattern at this distance i think it would probably remain fairly tight moving out compared to using a different choke regardless of the wad so let me know what you guys think or do in this kind of situation because i don't know anything about shotguns thank you it actually hit the splatter target where I was aiming. That's incredible. Yeah, we'll get him later. This one's not going into battery neither. That's what you get for getting range holes that are uh, blowing out of different guns and whatnot. Sometimes you don't get that brass sized all the way down which is why they came out with the uh, size master, is what Matt calls it. It actually squeezes the brass with a collet instead of just a ring. Anyways, we're here to shoot, not talk about reloading. They sure do go quick though. Okay, so I've got six pigeons on the ground. Let me see how quickly we can try to hit five of them. Well, almost got knocked on my butt there, but we missed, and then we grazed one, and then we hit a couple others. That was fun though, huh? <laughs> I 
dang buddy there's there's just something about doing a 12 gauge it's just feels like freedom i'll tell you what now brother yeah i've got six shots left i'm just gonna do one two three as quickly as we can go in between the targets there just having some fun blasting on the steel Okay, one more time just because it's freaking fun. It looks like I'm hitting high on the hexagon there, the MGM target. So let's aim a little bit lower, see if we can't get him centered and hit him in the right spot there. look like a dork trying to catch those cases hey come here anyways that was a whole bunch of fun there folks uh what other kind of fun stuff should we shoot here with the 12 gauge let me know what you guys want to see more of uh we still need to test these over the chronograph i still need to test out different chokes i've got three of them i forget what they're called because i don't know jack about shotguns but this is the tightest one and then i have Two more that open up further for the patterning so we can test that with all kinds of various loads all kinds of fun stuff to do here folks so let me know what you want to see let me know what you want to see and we'll get to it so thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next video have a good one